few of those filling up at this New Delhi petrol station have a view on Iran's nuclear program, nor the merits of a deal to control it. But the renewal of US sanctions on Iran could be felt here. India is the second biggest importer of Iranian oil after China. 18% of its oil comes from Iran. When petrol prices go up, it's the common people like me and others who are affected. India also exports to Iran some tea, more rice. The reimposition of sanctions so far does not cover food nor oil. The full extent of what the United States expects of other countries won't be known until November. India is hoping exemptions can be made, a waiver from the sanctions regime or freedom from consequences if it does continue to trade with Iran. But Indian exports to the US are 25 times those to Iran. It can't afford to risk them. Whatever decision will be taken by the government, it will be in the national interest. It is a very, very difficult choice. We have to strike a balance between two of my major partners. One is my strategic partner, one is my main business partner. India has close ties to Iran. President Hassan Rouhani came to New Delhi in February. Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to Tehran two years ago. Their country's ties are strategic as well as economic. Sanctions on Iran aren't just a matter of money for India. This is about more than the price of petrol or rice. There is a geopolitical dimension too. The US sanctions regime could cost India influence. India is the major investor in this port on Iran's south coast. It gives India access by sea to places which, because Pakistan blocks the land routes, it can't reach otherwise. Iran is important uh, from the geographical point of view when we are looking at Afghanistan, when we are looking at Central Asia. So it is the hub when we talk about the connectivity projects. Investment in Iran is also politically strategic. China's so-called Belt and Road Investment Initiative gives it influence across Central Asia. If India can't rival it, people here believe China's influence will grow. Little is clear yet. US and Indian officials will meet in September to discuss what the full US sanctions regime will mean. Here, it could hurt. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.